Hi everyone, this is Monica with BootyBands.com. I've got Danita here. Today we are going over best sex and healing your abs after having a baby. You will need a booty band. We'll start with just doing our body weight first. And remember just to listen to your body. You can do one round or you can do several. Listen to your body and let's get started. I'll show you the modification first. So if you just had your baby, stay down here in tabletop. Bring our arm up to our shoulder and then rotate. If you just had your baby, you're focusing on bringing your tummy in and sucking it in as you're doing these exercises. If you're a little bit past postpartum, come up here on your toes, raise those knees. It's the same motion with your arms. The biggest thing here is you wanna make sure that the only thing that's moving is your arms. You're not swaying your hips. You're keeping your core tight and locked in. Push back into child's pose. Okay, so workout number two, come to a lying position on your back with your knees pointing in the air and your hands down. Bring your shins up parallel to the floor. Alternate your legs down by tapping each toe. This is the modified version. Just had a baby, we're healing those abs. Stay here if you, if you want, and then moving into more advanced is keeping legs together, tapping both legs down, and rocking up. If you got something on your mind, I'ma try to help you let it go. You got, you got, you got something on your mind. I'ma try to help you let it go. Uh, what we're going to move into next is um, a twist on each side. So you're keeping your legs where they're at. You just had baby. Open one leg up at a time. If you're comfortable, rotate both legs here. We're really working. We're not falling into these poses and letting our legs fall into the mat. We're sucking in our abs here. Make sex feel more pleasurable everything comes back to treating ourselves with respect and taking care of our bodies. Our next exercise. For our last exercise, you're going to bring your right leg up and all the way down to the ground, and then back up. Again, really gentle exercise for postpartum. Advanced is coming into bridge pose, and then lifting that right leg up and down. Okay, switch here. A more advanced move with the same workout. Three and four. Come back down and left side. Here we go. If you start to shake like I am, you press your hands firm into the ground to give yourself that stability. And rest. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug.
Awesome, so second round, we're gonna go ahead and place those booty bands on, choosing a level that's best fit for you, so level one through level four. Let's get started, you already know what to do. So, first one, let's go into that bear hold. Now again, choosing your own modification or advance that works for you. Remember, if it's just tapping those shoulders, maybe you're lifting one knee at a time, it's really about listening to your core and what works. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So up onto those toes, lifting those knees slightly up off the ground, and tapping, not rocking those hips. Focus on breathing and taking that core in. Listen to the music and just focus on you. I'm so proud of you, come on down. Take a little breather now as we're gonna go sit onto our hip bones. We're gonna go into the ab portion here. This is a 360 portion for your abs. We're working all different areas of it. So again, modification, you're just gonna tap that one leg down at a time. Or if you wanna take it to advance with us, again, your choice, listen to your body. You're gonna bring both legs down and go up into a rocking motion here. All slow and controlled. Lift up a little bit higher through those toes. Try to bring those toes up towards the ceiling and really let the lower core do the motion here. Right, take a little breather here. Relax for just a moment. And remember, at any time if you need to take any breaks, that is your choice. Allow yourself to take any breaks you need to. We're gonna go into which is the, the rocking back and forth. Remember, if you need to do one leg at a time, please do so. Go back to those modifications. Let's go. Try to bring those knees so they're right up over the hips. It's cheating if you bring those, those knees up towards your chest. So bring them over by your hips and just rock gently, very slow, your own speed. And it's really about listening to all of the healing that's taking place, bringing all the muscles back together. A little bit deeper if you can in these ones. So just the last four here. See if you can challenge that core and get a little deeper from side to side. All right, go ahead and place those feet nice and firm onto the ground. We're gonna go into our last exercise here. All right, so this is gonna be our bridge. Now remember, if you just came out of having a baby, it is just going to be that leg drop, so that lift in the lower. Now if you are a little bit more, like Monica's here, her, uh, your youngest one's how old? Four. Four, okay, so she can handle it. So get that booty up in the air, Monica, and we're gonna take that leg and we're gonna lift and lower. That's it. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. Good, last one, place that into the mat, roll your body gently down onto that mat, hug those knees, embrace your life, embrace your family, embrace yourself. Finding all that gratitude right now, all the love that you have for yourself, for healing that you're doing today, and for the future as you're starting from day one, not one day. You are taking action and that's all that matters. Go ahead and gently give yourself a nice good back massage on that lower back by gently rocking left to right. Awesome, filling that heart with gratitude. Think of one thing that you are most grateful for in your life right now. Okay, 
10 when you're ready. Go ahead and rock onto one side and press yourself up into that seated position. Take that booty band off. Good work, now make sure to go eat healthy because it is very important that you're eating healthy and you're doing your workouts. That's so important as we have the mind, the workouts, and the nutrition. So make sure to look at the nutrition stuff, the meal prep that Monica's gonna be walking us through, all of those fun recipes, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.